Hey, turkey! <laughs> Fall from porch decor is trending on Pinterest right now, and we'll show you how we made this one right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a build it or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. Some jive turkey left a comment on one of our videos about the big bunny porch leaner asking if we could do a turkey version. So we've got a brand new kit for you this week. We're super excited about it. It's a full turkey. We're gonna do this on a four foot leaner and I think he's gonna be super cute. Super cute and super easy. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We're gonna use this one by 12 by four. This is a little project board. The great thing about using this size leaner is that you can pick this board up at any local hardware store already cut to size, you just grab it and go. We're gonna use some quarter inch MDF. This is what we're gonna cut our turkey design out of. We're also gonna use our Foxy Hughes paints, which are gonna be perfect for this project because they are outdoor acrylic paints. They're gonna be UV resistant, weather resistant, so you can leave this little guy on your front porch. He's gonna be great. We're gonna need some wood glue and some half inch nails. And that is it. Step two. I'm gonna make all of our cuts. <laughs> I'm gonna bring this quarter inch MDF over to our Eon Nova 14, and we're gonna cut out our turkey design. And if you don't have your own laser, don't worry. You can purchase this kit in our store at kngmaker.com. Look for... Turkey. Turkey leaner kit. We'll also make the SVG available. It'll be in the links down below. When I was cutting out our turkey, I cut out a little template that I'm gonna use to lay on this one by 12 so that we can draw a little arch and cut it out with the jigsaw. Yeah, this is a little different. Usually we use a full one by 12 by four foot board, but because we want a turkey head and turkey feathers, we really feel like we should round the top of this. So. Kind of make this his turkey body. <laughs> Now I think you can make this kit without that. You can use a little paint to do a little hiding, but we're gonna show you what it looks like if you do round the top. Now that I made my little half circle, I'm just gonna cut it out with this jigsaw. I am no sawsman. <laughs> it doesn't need to be perfect. The turkey head will cover up most of it. And you don't have to have a template. Really, you're just trying to... Give it a half circle. Yeah, I think we can show. But Look, this I've half been... template lines right up with my turkey body. Oh, okay, well, let's see. So the arch starts six and a quarter inches down, and yeah. the top of the arch is... Three inches. Three inches. So it's like a three inch arch. Well, two and three quarter inches. There's a template. <laughs> Do you want me to clamp it for you? No. You need a clamp? We don't need clamps where we're going, Kim. Oh, okay. I said I'm no Salzman, but that's a pretty good cut. Yeah, I was just thinking while he was doing that, if you don't have a jigsaw, this is a handy little tool. It's pretty affordable, Christmas is coming. It might be a great gift for someone. A DIYer, I'm serious. I think it'd be fun. Oh yeah, time. I use this thing all the time. Yeah. Step three. Now we paint. Wow, first try. <laughs> first try. <laughs> we're gonna use some Foxy Hughes paint, but we're not gonna use the brush. We're gonna use a four inch foam roller and a little handle and some of this Foxy Hughes and we're gonna roll everything. We're gonna roll everything. And if you have our 34 color bundles paint set, we're gonna be using some basic colors in the set. You can use your Foxy Fire, any of your darker greens. This one is the Forest Canopy, Apple Stars, and Ambush Auburn, or... Rat's Rhubarb. Thank you, Rat's Rhubarb. <laughs> and then of course, your light brown and your dark brown, your whack bat wood and your pine cone path. Now, if you happen to have the Fall Harvest bundle, this is a great colorway for the Fall Harvest Bundle because it does have the uh, countryside copper. Barnwood it has red. the barnwood red. That's right, Toasty Treehouse, which is a darker brown. So this is a great addition to this because this little guy is gonna have three shades of brown. And then the darker green is Evergreen Grove. So if you have this fall set, this is a perfect kit for the fall set. Or your 34 color bundle will work too. We're gonna start by painting our backer and we're gonna use the new toasty treehouse with the little foam roller. 
I'm gonna use one that's already been used. We keep our foam rollers in the Ziploc bags, makes them stick around a little bit longer. So I get asked a lot is how much paint do you need for a project? Now, of course, it depends on what you're painting, but typically, rule of thumb, if you're doing a round backer, a 16 inch backer, you're gonna use about an ounce of paint. Actually, it's a little bit less than one ounce of paint. So this is a four ounce pouch, which we've already used a few times. This is gonna cover this, uh, the front. I'm not even gonna bother to do the back. Yeah, I wouldn't bother doing the back. The sides and the front, I think, are fine. Yep, and this, what's left in this was probably three ounces, and this is gonna cover this no problem. No problem. Four. We're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of wood glue and a little bit of star bond and maybe <laughs> like a half inch brad. The nail, not the guy. We're gonna use the wood glue to attach the MDF to the wood. We're gonna use the star bond to attach the MDF to MDF. Yes, yes. And for my tail feathers, so that we didn't have to paint many lines, I made little puzzle pieces so it'll fit back together and then we'll pin it to the back. goodness he is so cute i think that'll hold i think that's good yeah you guys want to see the bottom see his little feet his little turkey feet i'll hold him back here oh my gosh that is so cute that is cute hey turkey what do you guys think this guy it's so cute. And I think he's gonna be great for the front porch. It's a super simple kit to do, especially with the little puzzle piece backer in the back. There's just not a ton of pieces to paint here, but man, is he gonna be, stand out on your front porch and really draw you your eyes and call some attention to him. And we know front porch decor is trending, so this is perfect. This Look is at this little perfect guy. If you want I mean, it's only four foot too, so we could totally take these to the show. Oh yeah. Yeah. And so if you want to cut this kit yourself with your laser, you can get this in our store. Or if you just want to purchase the pre-cut kit and paint it yourself, you can get it in our store. One four foot board, super simple. Well, we're about out of time. So if you're not going to do this for the Patreon after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. 
right. All right. Here we go. Oh, this guy's an easy one. I'm like a, I'm like a balancing. And did you think our patrons? Decor. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Big thanks to all of our patrons. <laughs> you know we love you guys, and that is the best way to support this channel. Hey, you get this file for free. Old Willie. He's never been called Willie before. He's Willie now, because he gets jiggy with it. <laughs> Big Willie style. 